Hello everyone, it's Alex Alright, and in this video I'm gonna show you how to work with Alright Rig Animation Tools window. At first I would like to say that Anim Tools window does not depend from the Rig Tools. Anim Tools were made in order to work with actors and animation. However, you can use those tools with Rig, as long as Rig controllers are simple actors. At first let's talk about constraints. And let's start from the most popular parent constraint. So first of all I need to select driver actors and the last one I need to select driven actor and hit parent. I can see that new actor appeared with name parent constraint and it is attached to the driven actor. So now if I will start to move these actors I will see that both of them have influence on this actor. And if I will go to parent constraint properties I can find w1, w2 active properties here. So basically these are the weights of influence for first and second targets. And using these properties I can interpolate between those influences. And of course I can create animation for those properties. K, K. And let's create animation for driver actors. Let's shift those case a little bit. So now you can see that at first this actor will drive, constraint actor. But then it will be interpolated to influence of another actor. If all weights will be zero, actor will go to the rest position and will not be attached to any of those actors. And rest position is also position of actor before constraints were created. And of course you can tweak this position. You can also add target objects after constraint was created. Just select another target, select driven actor and hit the same parent button. Now you can see that third weight property is activated for the third actor. You can also switch off constraint by disabling enable property. Let's enable it again. Unfortunately, you cannot blend sequencer animation with constraints animation. Sequencer will override constraints animation. If you want to delete constraint, you need to select and press delete button. Let's also delete broken reference. Now let's create point constraint. Again, at first I need to select targets and the last one will be constraint object. Point. So point constraint will only override location of actor. You can still animate rotation of this actor. But please make sure that you don't have keys for location. Again, you have all the same properties for point constraint. Now let's create orient constraint. Orient constraint will transfer rotation information to the actors. And of course it will blend between different actors if there are multiple targets. Just make sure that your actor does not have rotation animation. The same with scale constraint. You can also use multiple constraints at once. Let's say I want to create point and orient constraints. In this case, location of actor will be transferred as well as rotation. Now let's create aim constraint. I'm gonna add axis actor to make it more clear. Let's say I want to make my actor to look at another actor. Let's close sequencer. Again I need to select driver actor and driven and create aim constraint. Now my axis actor will be aimed to cube. 
Sometimes you may need another actor to specify where the second axis will look. Let's delete aim constraint. In this case, I'm going to select again actor to look at, driven actor. And in up actor property, I need to specify actor that will be used to aim second axis. Let's create aim constraint. In this case, first axis will look at one object and second axis will look at another object. All right, let's say I want to make animation where my character will pick up the gun. Let's go to sequencer and create animation for IK arm. K, K, K. Here's my animation. And in this position, I'm going to create parent constraint. Select IK controller, select the gun, anim tools, parent constraint. Now I will have this animation. So if I want the gun to lay on the ground before character will pick it, I need to animate weight property for this constraint. K, previous frame, zero, here we go. Let's continue this animation. And now I want other hand to hold the gun. Press S to set K. Go to other frame. And let's make this simple animation. Maybe this way. Like this. Now I have this animation. While controller has animation, I can't assign constraint to it. But every controller has group. And we can go to the mesh component of this group and assign some shape to it. For example, locator. Just to be able to see it and select in the viewport. Again, let's select right hand IK, left hand IK group and create parent constraint. Now if I will continue to make animation for the right arm, I will see that gun and hand moves with right arm. But we also need to animate weight property for this constraint in order to fix animation. So in this frame, I'm going to select controller Set K on the weight property, previous frame, zero. I can see this jump in animation. It's because this controller was moved from the position when the constraint was assigned. Let's recreate parent constraint. Delete. Delete reference. Again, in this pose select right IK controller and shift select left IK hand controller group parent constraint again K on weight in this frame and in previous frame we need it to be in his rest position zero perfect Looks like animation uh, of picking now is different. Let's just fix it. All right. Looks like now I need to animate pelvis controller in order to make characters stand up a little bit. Key. Like this. Okay, now let's say I want to aim this gun to another actor. Let's create another actor. I will put position for this actor like this. So the gun is aimed to this actor. And we can also create constraint, but in this case for right arm. 
IK group. Because our right hand is animated, we can create constraint on this, but we can create constraint on its parent group. Again, let's add shape to make it visible. And again, I'm selecting aim actor, selecting right hand IK group, aim. Now we can have this aim constraint animation. All right, now let's say I have a few actors flying around. And I want my character to shoot at first to this actor and then blend his aim to this actor. So I have also this actor that controls my aim animation and I can create point constraint for these actors and blend between them. Let's also create animation for the spheres. S go to another frame like this. And let's say here I want my aim cube to follow this sphere. But if I want to blend this interpolation between their positions, I need to create another sphere and assign this position for the sphere. So copy position from cube, paste to the sphere. So this actor will be the first target, this will be second, this will be third. And I will just interpolate between these positions of those actors. So I need to select this actor, second target, third target, and cube. And let's go to anim tools and create point constraint. Now, if I will play animation, I will see that my cube starts to move because all these three actors are trying to influence on this cube. Let's select point constraint and animate interpolation. So for the first target will be one, for second zero, for third also zero. I can see that my cube changed its position. So first of all, right now this sphere drives the position of this cube. Let's select constraint again. And, we, and here we can find this offset property which is, represents offset between target and constraint actor. Let's reset this offset. And now we can animate interpolation to the second target. Zero, one. I'm sorry, I did not make the first key. One, zero. By the way, I have Auto K feature enabled, so when I change property, case will be set automatically. First interpolation, then I want to switch to this sphere. Again, let's set keys. And now animate interpolation between second and third target. Let's play animation. Take the gun, interpolate one, one second. Let's make, be, make this animation a little bit longer for this actor. And let's move weight keys also a little bit so it would not be so fast. Okay. I see this movement. It happened because rest position for this constraint have been changed after we moved gun controller group with aim constraint. Let's recreate this parent constraint again. I'm going to delete it. Yes. Delete reference. 
again create constraint parent set key for the weight and in previous frame set zero all right here's our animation Okay, now let's say I want my body also to move during the gun rotation. Again, we can select this group that is controlled by aim constraint. And maybe here we will create orient constraint for pelvis controller. Orient. And now we can see that body also moves. We can see this weird strobe effect. It's because pelvis controller has animation. We have orient constraint. We can allow controller to move from sequencer animation, but we will override its rotation using constraint. So we just need to delete keys from rotation. Now it looks good. And maybe I don't need the wall amount of rotation from this controller. So I can create another constraint from main controller to pelvis controller. Just add another target to orient constraint. Now we have second target. And for the first target, which is our hand controller group, I will set weight 0.5. Let's see. Now we have this little movement of the body, full movement of the gun, and we can also create uh, another aim constraint, for example, for head. Let's select our cube, which is already, we can say that it's already controller, and select head. aim constraint. Let's look at animation. Press G to hide controllers. The last thing that we might need to do is bake our animation. Select controller, bake anim to anima set. Let's look at our animation. Here we go. Sometimes it might be useful to use smart behavior of your controllers. In this case, when I move this controller, it has also influence on this controller. And this controller also influence on middle eyebrow controller. And middle eyebrow controller available for animation. Let's create a new level and add Lara Rig. If you will go to rig category, you may find post create constraints array here. So this array is made in order to make constraints right after the rig was created. Let's delete this array, create Lara rig, and let's go to eyebrows controllers. So here I want this controller and this controller to envelope on this controller. First of all, these controllers are custom controllers for bones. So I'm gonna add a new item to post create constraints array. And here I can choose what constraint class I want to use. Aim, orient, parent, point and scale. Rig constraint is not available. So we need parent constraint. Now we need to choose constraint actor. It will be our middle eyebrow controller. I will copy this name, paste it here. But we need to create constraint not for the controller, we need to create constraint for its group. Now let's specify targets. Targets will be this and these controllers. Let's add two targets arrays. The first one will be left brow inner controller. Second one will be L brow outer controller. Again, here 
I will specify controllers, not groups, because when I will move controller, I need this controller to influence on this controller group. You can also specify weights if you want for these targets to have specific weights. If you will not specify weights, by default weights will be 1. And if you are using aim constraint, you can specify up actor here. Ok, let's recreate rig. Let's check. Now we can see that this controller influence on this controller. Outer eyebrow controller also influence on middle eyebrow controller. And now you can find parent constraint under L bro mid control group. If you want your constraint to be visible in a viewport, you can check visible checkbox. Okay, now let's go to anim tools and talk about actors category. If you want some actors to not be selectable, you can select actor and press toggle selectable button. Now I will not be able to select floor. If you want to make it selectable again, you need to select floor in world outliner and press toggle selectable again. This feature also works with selected components. Sometimes you have actors that may have mesh that was generated in construction script of Blueprint. For example, Sky Sphere. You can disable selection of Sky Sphere using toggle selectable button. But you can edit Sky Sphere Blueprint. And in construction script, you may drag Sky Sphere mesh component, drag pin, type select and you can find set selectable node just connect it to execution pin of construction history save and close and now i will not be able to select sky sphere sometimes it is hard to find controllers in outliner in order to attach them to different actors but you can select controller select another controller and hit attach button You can also select multiple controllers and they will be attached to last selected controller. Move, rotate and scale relative properties are made in order to manipulate multiple selected actors in relative space. Actor classes category is made in order to work with all actors of specified class. For example, let's select all parent constraint actors. Here is the only one. Or maybe I want to hide all controllers in scene. Our controller. Hide. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, I hope this tutorial will help you to make animations in Unreal Engine faster and everything will be alright.